Hey everybody, welcome back to Shop Dog Fabrication. So today, I'm having to fix the, uh, the strip threads in my daughter's RAV4 aluminum block. Um, so she started leaking coolant out of the back of the uh, engine um, between the cylinder head and the block. Uh, this is a 2005 RAV4. It's got the 2.4 liter. And um, unfortunately, uh, it had the dreaded uh, coolant leak. When I took pulled it all apart, there were three uh, bolt, head bolts. Basically, I could take out finger tight. So that basically, those head bolts caused, you know, the pressure to be off the gasket and allowed, you know, slight coolant leak. Um, so the dealer wanted $3,300 to repair it. Now, uh, you know, is to show you how to repair your threads. Now, you can go out and buy this time insert kit. Uh, it's like $480 on Amazon. I was able to rent this one online. Um, I found a company, I believe it was called ledfix.com, that rented this out for $124. Uh, now, they do charge a $200 um, fee, and you'll get that $200 back um, when you return it. Now, you'll have to pay shipping to return it, so that's gonna be like, what, 15 bucks or so to send it back. So now you're into this for about 140 bucks, let's say. Now the $124 includes shipping to your door. So it's, that's 120, and there's no sales tax either. Now the other thing you have to do is you have to buy the inserts. Uh, if they have them, they're $3 an insert. Otherwise you can go on Amazon and buy the inserts for probably like 35 bucks for 10 of them. Um, I'm doing the six in the very middle. Uh, I read the Toyota TSB and it says you're not supposed to do the thread inserts on the outer four so the two on either end of the engine block you should only do the six in the middle so that's what i'm going to do so basically for about 160 70 dollars um including shipping to send this back i was able to rent this and not have to spend big money to buy a kit uh, there's another one out there that's like 339 dollars uh, again you know this is saving me a bunch of money to rent so also you can reach out to this uh, LED, I believe it was kit.com. I'll put the link in the description to the company uh, where you can rent this from. Um, you know, and they were super cool. They shipped it priority two day mail. I had it in a couple of days and I'll do the same to get uh, back to them. Um, you know, so uh, basically in the kit, it came with everything that I needed. Um, like I said, I bought the inserts from them. So uh, let me go ahead and set the camera up now and I'll show you how you can repair an aluminum block. All right, guys, so basically what I'm doing is using a blowgun. Uh, you can pick these up for just a couple of bucks. Uh, I got this from my local uh, Menards. Um, you can also pick these up at Harbor Freight, pretty inexpensive. The nice thing is, is the tip is small, so you can get it into really uh, tight places. And all I do is I take a shop rag. You can see I've already kind of done one hole. Is just stick the gun down into the hole here. Um, just put the towel over it so it doesn't blow crap all over the place and just hit it. You know, hit it a few times and uh, try to get the crap out of there. So you can see, you know, that one had quite a bit in it. You know, I tried to clean out some of this beforehand to try to minimize the mess. Um, so. Again, stick the blowgun down on the hole, and then just put a towel over it. You know, try to get all the crap out of the holes. Then what I'm going to do is take some brake clean, spray some brake clean down on the hole as well, and then hit it again with the air gun and clean it out. So as you can see, guys, I got a lot of crap out of the holes, um, mostly oil. And the reason I want to clean them out good is when I go to, you know, drill and tap, you know, there's going to be small little shavings down in there. And if you have a bunch of oil down there and the cylinders aren't clean, it's going to be hard to get all those shavings out. They're going to stick, um, you know, to your brand new threads that you just uh, cut. And so what I wanted to do is clean them out as best I can. So what I can do is take a shot back, you know, suck them out real good to clean them out, uh, all the chips and everything and a blowgun after, you know, I use a shop back to blow hopefully all the chips out, um, you know, as I do this. So that way, when I go to torque the head on, you know, I get a good reading and I don't get a misreading 
because there's a chip, you know, left in there or the insert didn't go all the way down in because, you know, there's chips left in there, that kind of thing. First thing we need to do is take a measurement with this. Um, basically what you do is we'll start with this back hole and I'm going to take this little T and put it flush to the hole. And then I'm going to slide, push and slide this down into the hole on the very edge. Um, Cause what you want to do is you want to run it till it hits the top of the thread that is there. So now, like I said, I'm going to take that, slide it down a little bit. So you see, I've set it in there and now we'll just kind of push it a little bit. And there she goes, she stopped. But we were right at the three inch mark where that little red, uh, somebody else had put a little red pan mark. So basically it was sitting right here like so. And so now what we need to do is transfer this mark over to the drill bit. And now let me show you how we do that. That, as you can see this little mark here, right? How this little, the drill bit has these little flute markings. What you're gonna do is take your drill bit, line it up to that flute mark, then take your Sharpie, which they include in the kit, and mark your three inches right there. So there's our three inch mark from that. Now what we need to do is measure up 25 millimeters from that. Now what they show in the kit, is guess what, this little sleeve, take the sleeve, put it on your mark, and then mark your, mark it again. So essentially you've got four inches. So you're gonna drill down three inches, but because you're gonna have this in the plate, you know, you're not gonna be able to see this mark. All right, that first mark we did, you're gonna see the second mark. And that's why we put the sleeve on there and measured the additional, because what you're gonna do is when you drill, you're gonna drill all the way down until this mark is at the top of that. So let me get the plate set up. Now, actually what we need to do next is we need to mark this also on the other two things, the other two tools, one being the tap and the other thing being the threader that you'll use to thread the insert in. So we'll mark this, carry this mark over on those. Here's the tap that comes with the kit. And what we'll do is mark, line the two ends so they're the same distance. And then basically carry over our marks. Because this is how we're going to tap this down into the hole. We're going to cut our threads into the block so we can put in the insert. Well, here is what you use to thread the insert in. So again, we're going to take this, line the ends up so they're the same distance. Mark our two marks, basically. And now we're ready to put in the plate and align the hole. Let me get set up for that. Install the plate. Basically, I used two bolts, tightened them, used this alignment pin, put it down in the hole along with this. So you can see this insert comes out. pin goes in. Now it may come out a little hard because I basically took my rubber mallet when I tighten the bolts up to help set the pin. And then I tighten the bolts and I'll take my alignment pin out. So now the next step is I could not do this with my cordless drill so I got out my nice big drill here. Move up the bit here with some WD-40 and you're going to be taking this in and out multiple times to clean that hole out. Um, probably six or seven times if I had to guess. Um, I use a shot vac, compressed air, whatever I can use to basically pull all the aluminum shavings out. And that's the whole purpose, right? Why we have tape to try to block, you know, the uh, shavings from getting in the intake manifold. Because, of course, the intake manifold will suck them into the engine. And why we got the tape over the uh, block. 
So now we'll go ahead and just drill the hole all the way to our mark. We're going to take our tap, lube her up with some WD-40 here. And again, run it down to our mark. Now when I'm doing this, I've got an eight point socket, you know, that I'm using. If you have a 12 point, you can use, also use a 12 point or you have to use a tap handle. So I like using the uh, socket wrench, it's a whole lot easier. And you can see, here's your shavings that you're gonna take out. So you're gonna wanna clean the hole out again. I'm gonna shoot some brake clean down there, um, shoot a bunch of shop air down there and then we'll get ready to put the insert in next. All right, what you're gonna wanna do next, here's the insert tool. Make sure you put a little oil on the end of it so when you thread it out, you don't take the insert out with it. So you're going to go ahead and put the insert on. Now you'll notice the insert here, whoops, you notice the insert, see it's got like a little flare on the end there, kind of sticks out versus the other end, that goes to the top. So you'll thread that end on. And you'll notice you don't need to thread it on very far. Um, it basically gets real hard after that. What you want to do next now is take some of the, uh, you know, thread locker basically. Put some on the end here. Come on out. There we go. Put some on the end. I'm going to smear it on a little bit. You just need to put it on the end here because as you thread it in, it'll work its way up. So just put a little on the end because as you thread it in, it'll work its way up. And you'll see it if you look down the hole, you'll see the red up here at the top a little bit too. All right, now we've got it. We'll go ahead and thread it on. Take my socket, run her down. All right, now I've hit basically the bottom, give her a good crank, and then take it out. And there we go. Good, in you know, not having an insert on the end of this is a good thing. That means I did it right. So guys, I hope this little video uh, helped you um, you know, how to do it and how to save some money, more importantly, doing, you know, the thread repair yourself, but also that you can rent the tool. Um, like I said, I'll put the link in the description uh, from where you can rent it from. And I'll put a link in the description also for the threaded inserts uh, that you need to purchase to do it if they don't have them. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this little video helped you. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Get out your shop, do something and have some fun. I know this ain't fun, but it will save you some money. Take care, guys.